So we've been talking a lot about uh, transmission and towers and tower lighting, but if we back it all up, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the audio from the studio to the transmitter site to be transmitted. So the first thing we, you know, we're gonna need is we're gonna need a STL, a studio to transmitter link. We're gonna get the audio from the studio to the transmitter. There's also something called a TSL, a transmitter to studio link, usually for uh, back hauling audio like a, um, a news reporter radio feed or something like that. So we're dealing with STL. Well, STL is a few things. An STL could be a link over a T1, a telco line. It could be over a uh, microwave link or a 950 licensed microwave link. It can also be over the internet or it can be over a private uh, managed uh, network solution from one of the big providers. So we have a couple things here in this rack at KFI. Um, we have a digital uh, 950 SDL made by Mosley. It's pretty common. Um, Gates Air also makes a 950 option. It's licensed. Uh, we also have a T1, a uh, older style Harris uh, Intraplex T1. So we have a, uh, a data circuit from the telco provider that connects our studio to transmitter. Um, we have audio running over that. Uh, we also have, uh, not here, but we also have links other places over internet, the public internet or uh, switched, you know, managed ethernet from uh, the providers. Uh, so there's different styles here. The main things as an operator you're gonna wanna take note of is signal level. So that could either be done on a meter like this one, moving the knob to um, your receive signal level or uh, just reading off the front panel. So on a Mosley, we would read it in DBM. And for example, we're getting minus 37. It's pretty good actually uh, here. And we can see the, the bits coming in and how many errors and we have zero errors. Something that a chief engineer or somebody maintaining the equipment is gonna wanna know is, hey, what's our signal strength? What's our errors? Over time, if the signal strength goes down or you have errors, there could be a problem, right? That you could hear that on the air. As far as T1s, there's some alarms here to take note of that it could be important for operators. Uh, you know, the normal light, the alert and the alarm. Alert and alarm can mean different things, uh, either if your telco service is down or it's not seeing the equipment on the other end. Uh, unfortunately, in 2022, a lot of the issues related to T1s are due to the provider and copper, old copper, things like that. But as an operator, you're just going to want to look at your rack, look at your signal, uh, receive signal strength, your lights, make sure it's not throwing any alarms. And, you know, uh, coming to the site and just kind of looking over everything is the best way to, to tell if you're having a problem uh, or, or if there's a problem you don't know about, 